first field yielded just a smidge under 900 hectare, uh, about 12.8 to 13 percent moisture. Uh, destined for uh, milling, hopefully, although the protein levels of the grain from uh, just looking at it look a little bit light. But we've got some samples in the post today, we'll get those analysed and then um, we'll see what we've got when it comes to marketing. A uh, slight bit of a demo combine again. This is the 785 um, dropped in by Talis Amos. Thank you very much, guys. Um, as our 685 um, as a broken old water pump, uh, which is the one that's got the Redicop seed control unit on it, uh, and a Macdon Flex Draper 135. Um, so we've, uh, we've got this to keep us going. Um, it's uh, yeah, good combine. Um, we do miss the header, um, the the stubbles a little bit wavy, a little bit all over the place, um, which we used to get before we went to Macdon. So um, it's doing a good job chopping it all up. Premium chopper on it. Uh, it's quite good, quite a good stand of wheat. Um, this was one of the last ones drilled. Actually, this was drilled. Uh, about the 7th or 8th of October last year. We actually had quite an extensive seed rate trial in here, or seed, seed treatment trial, um, from a Farm Standard, which is manganese and zinc, um, to some Amino A, some single purpose dressing, Vibrance Duo, um, several others. Um, and then um, sort of working with Indigro, who helped us with our agronomy, we actually had urofins come in and spray some fungicide and some trace elements across this but the, where I'm standing at the moment was about the greenest part of the field when we flew the drone over it and we took the decision not to take it to plot yield because the um, variation from the field soil type would have overwritten anything that um, those treatments would have would have shown which is a real shame actually um, but there we go that's farming I suppose um, yeah so day 15 uh, cracking into the wheat we've got 300 hectares of wheat here at Overbury another uh, 90 hectares next door at Kemerton so it's about 10 day harvest uh, all things being equal um, and hopefully we'll get our combine back up and running tomorrow new water pumps uh, en route uh, we'll get that put in um, and then hopefully we'll be able to get that running and um, yeah, be back up to normal, normal machinery running for the rest of uh, certainly this wheat area down here in the Vale uh, of Evesham. So that's where we are. <laughs>